everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Jamaica has been said to influence the United States in many, many ways. ways. But today we want to take a look really at um, how Jamaicans have, uh, in their transition to the United States, have actually influenced the ecology by bringing different plants and flowers from the, 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 the Caribbean. Um, here and uh, we want to quickly take a look at some of the spices the fruits and some of the maybe some of the nuts and flowers all right come with me now okay so to start we are gonna take a look at some spices okay first spice uh, the mint peppermint uh, sometimes called uh, black mint in Jamaica very good in uh, very, uh, it's a big staple in Jamaican breakfast for tea. We have over here uh, fever grass, um, which uh, here we call it the uh, lemongrass. Here we have another mint, uh, we call it in Jamaica country mint. Here they call it spearmint, I believe. Um, there we have uh, rosemary, we have aloe vera, which we call single Bible in Jamaica. Um, See some flowers here, a little bit more rosemary. Okay, we see some uh, crotons, very popular in Jamaica. Uh, another here, don't remember what that's called. Um, some more crotons, uh, co coconut trees. Okay, uh, under here we have a mango tree. Um, a common mango in Jamaica we call it a uh, stringy uh, another one we have a uh, Julie mango tree this is about the stringy tree is about uh, 20 feet tall the Julie tree is about uh, 12 feet tall and when this bears it's giving me about four to six dozen mangoes in Jamaica it's a popular mango among the upper class Jamaicans because they you know they think it's a hybrid mango uh, here we have a uh, sweet sop, which in many Caribbean islands is called a uh, sugar apple. Um, the tree looks a little scanty because we had to prune it down for the hurricane. I uh, didn't want to lose it. Last year we almost lost it. We had to um, take all those stones and pack them against a root while the wind was blowing to prevent it from toppling over. We planted another one just to make sure, just in case we lost this tree. All right, here we have a coconut tree. Uh, this coconut tree is about uh, three years old. Starts bearing now. Um, that's what a blossom looks like. Yeah, young fruit. We have um, callaloo, which is a uh, relative to the spinach. It's just much better flavor. Came with us on a ship from Africa, from our motherland, Ghana. Uh, Scotch bonnet peppers. See, scotch bonnet peppers. And the reason I'm showing you this, guys, is because sometimes you tell uh, people in Jamaica that you can grow these things here in Florida and they don't actually believe. They think you're kidding. Uh, pineapples, I plant as many pineapples as possible. There's a pineapple. And uh, mostly you might not know, pineapple is a flower that turns into a fruit. Um, okra. We have some okra here. Let's see if we can get a good shot. Okra. Uh, yeah. Sugar cane. Let's see. Maybe on the other side. The sun is just out, so it's a little harder. Uh, sugar cane. You should be able to see. There we go. We have a sarsop tree which is about 12 feet tall now, should be bearing anytime soon. Okay, we have here, have a, I'm sorry for the poor video quality guys, the sun is not doing me any justice. We have a pear tree, in Jamaica we call this a pear tree, here they call it an avocado, because uh, the avocado pear was introduced to the United States by, um, by, by uh, Spanish, uh, Latinos from probably Mexico, but this particular one came from Jamaica. 
had a second one just in case we lose that one we have this one down here we have another julie tree it's a much smaller tree as you can see much smaller one okay behind the julie tree we have something that's unusual we have a jamaican apple tree which is um it's an OTT apple but we call it a jamaican apple tree let's see if you can get a shot of it most people don't believe you can actually grow this here so let me just give you a shot just as proof there we go it was much higher it's born a lot of fruits um, okay here we have ginger now these ginger are unusually tall because we've been trying some new compost on it so the ginger is extremely tall usually they're small like these like about one foot tall or so uh, here we have a small nesbury tree in a pot um, but i have a much bigger one down there that's bearing here we have a what we call june plum in some caribbean island it's called a golden apple all right you can see I have a cluster of mango trees here. Around here, okay, this here is the bay, the bay tree, all right? And in Jamaica, it's a cousin to the pimento tree. It's not exactly a pimento tree, it's a bay tree, but we use it for the same thing. Let me just look down here because when you're stepping in the bush in, in Florida, you have to look because snakes are sometimes around. All right, this is the jackfruit tree all right jackfruit tree which is about uh 14 feet tall you can see a jackfruit on it right there all right okay tamarind tree we have a tamarind tree we had to prune it before it started bearing because um the hurricane all right and more pineapples and ginger and stuff okay all right over there I have a little banana I had a big bananas but we had to cut it out because the bananas tend to spread quite a bit uh, let me see if I can get you papaya in Jamaica we call it papa in most of West Africa it's papa also but again they came to United States from Latin America so it's called papaya which is a Spanish word for it we have a sausage tree again this wasn't doing well so I had to cut it down allow it to spring again uh, here we have a lot of cocoa uh, we call it cocoa or um, cocoa yam um, and above it is the famous Aki tree I don't know if you can see it very well famous Aki tree um, does have some fruit on it but it's not quite ready um, but yeah that's the Aki tree and let me prove to you this is a very young young axis and so forth all right here i have a much bigger nose very tree in spanish they call it sapodilla um so there this tree is about 16 feet tall i've pruned it many times because i don't have a lot of space so all right i'm just showing you proof that there's actually nesbury on the tree there it is. And nesbury is a fruit that looks very much like kiwi. Uh, here. Yeah. And uh, in reality, when, they, when they're fully grown, they are like two or three times the size of this. Very sweet. It, the berry is very sweet and um, very nutritious also. I don't want to go into the nutritional part of it now, but yeah. Um, grape tree. Jamaican sea grape. Um, I have a tree here. I have a couple trees out there too. They do bear. Um, very popular in Florida. Now the reason I'm showing you this is not to show off my plants. It's just simply to show you that um, you know some there are, there are Jamaicans in on the island who actually don't believe that you can actually grow these things here. Uh, when we go home, we like to eat certain foods, and sometimes they'll they'll tell you, "Hey, drink some coconut water, man, or do this or do that." And you said, "No, no, no, I've had enough of that. I'm good." Um, but yeah, so there you have it. Did I miss anything? 
uh, the regular hibiscus. These are just edgings. They're not blooming right now, so you can't tell that they're hibiscus. But yes. And my little patch here. And yes. So, yes. So, in spite of being contrabands, uh, you're not allowed to bring certain plants in uh, from the islands. But, um, uh, but Jamaicans, as you know, uh, like to create a Jamaica wherever they go. Every immigrant, I think that's an immigrant thing, where they create um, their own living. Like the Chinese, they create Chinatown wherever they go in the world. Uh, that's the same thing with uh, Jamaicans. All right, so there you go. Until next time, uh, walk good and...